Hello and welcome back to Weekly Wildlife Wisdom. As always, I'm your host, Zero Yeti. Let's get into it. First animal we have is the Vampire Groundfish, which is a small bird native to Wolf and Darwin Island, to the Wolf and Darwin, Darwin Islands of the Galapagos Archipelago. The vampire finch is sexually dimorphic, as typical for its genus, with the males being primarily black, and while the females are around, are usually gray with brown streaks. It has a lipping song on a wolf, and a buzzing song on Darwin, and whistling calls on both islands. However, only on a wolf, a drawn-out buzzing call is also uttered. This bird is famous for its unusual diet. It typically feeds on insects, seeds, eggs, and cacti, but when fresh water is scarce, the vampire finch occasionally drinks the blood of other birds, namely boobies, such as the bluefoot booby. However, it will also target reptiles such as the marine iguana, the land iguana, and even sea lions by pecking at their host's skin with their sharp beaks until blood is drawn and then they lap it up. Next up is the common pipistrelle, which is a small pipistrelle microbat whose very large range extends across most of Europe, North Africa, southwestern Asia, and even into Korea, the Korean Peninsula. It is in the British Isles. It is m the most commonly documented bat species at around one to two inches in length, less than half an ounce in weight. And sporting a wingspan of just 7 inches, the common pipistrelle is amongst the smallest known vertebrates. So small, in fact, that adults can comfortably fit inside of a matchbox. They live in colonies ranging from a few dozen to a few hundred individuals, typically throughout the woodland and farmland. But they are also found in towns, where they hibernate in lofts of buildings during winter, and they rear, where they rear their young. Next up is the Crested Owl, which is a species of owl in the family Strigidae. It is the only species in the genus Lopsostrostrix. It is a resident bird that occurs in Central America and Northern South America, where they inhabit both lowland and montane rainforests up to around 3,000 feet in elevation. It is a medium-sized owl, easily recognizable by its long, whitish ear tufts, deep yellow eyes, and otherwise darker appearance. Unlike most owls, it frequently hunts during both day as well as night, uh, feeding primarily on insects, amphibians, and bats. And because of their diet, they often nest near rivers and streams. Gin carinus quadratus, also known as the red land crab, the white spot crab, the Halloween crab, the moon crab, the Halloween moon crab, the mouthless crab, or the harlequin land crab, is a colorful land crab from the family genus Sirenidae. With a carapace, the, the carapace of G. quadratus may reach a length of several inches in length and comes equipped with a pair of large purple claws, a set of orange, red, or red to orange legs, and an almost entirely black carapace with a pair of yellow, orange, or reddish spots behind the eyes. In addition to, in addition to a pair of whitish spots around the lower, central lower part of the carapace. It can be found in mangrove forests throughout Mexico and Panama, where they dig burrows sometimes up to five feet in length, where they hide from predators during the day, coming out at night to feed upon roots, fruit, seedlings, and leaf litter. Now, although they spend most of their times in their forested burrows, they must return to the sea to breed. Next up is the spotted ratfish, which is a chimera found in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. Chimeras are a branch of cartilaginous fish, along with sharks, rays, and skates. Meaning they have no, I mean, they're vertebrate and their entire skeleton is made of cartilage, as opposed to bone. They are often seen by divers at night in the Pacific Northwest, uh, and they get their characteristic name from the long pointed rat-like tail they possess. While mainly a deep water species, it occurs at shallower depths in the northern part of its range, 
The spotted rotfish is a very distinct appearance compared to the unrelated to other unrelated fish species, boasting a smooth and scaleless skin that is a silvery bronze in color, often with a sparkling of spots of gold, blue, and green. They range in size from one to three feet in length, with females being considerably larger than males. Both sexes sport a venomous spine located at the leading edge of their dorsal fin, which is used in defense. This weapon is typically harmless to humans, but has been known to kill seals and waterfowl that attempt to eat the ratfish. The ratfish themselves prey upon crustaceans, grinding their shells with their distinctive plate-like incisors and a remarkably strong bite force. The spotted ratfish breed throughout the autumn, throughout late autumn, laying pairs of leathery egg cases on the bottom of muddy and sandy areas, which where their eggs are often mistaken by animals and even scuba divers for inanimate objects. Next up is the humpback whale, which is a species of baleen whale that has a distinctive body shape with long pectoral fins and knobby head. Uh, they are found worldwide traveling in pods from around four to a dozen individuals, up to 16,000 miles per year as they travel from their feeding grounds, where they feed on plankton, krill, and small fish, around the poles to their breeding grounds in the tropics around like Hawaii and, and islands communicating with each other the entire time through elegant and elaborate songs. At nearly 55 feet in length and weighing upwards of 30 tons, they are the sixth largest animal on the planet. And like other large whales, the humpback was a target for whale the whaling industry. The species was once hunted to the brink of extinction. Its population fell by an estimated 90% for the 1966 moratorium on whaling. While stocks have partially recovered, to some 80,000 animals worldwide. Entanglement in fishing gear, collisions with ships, and noise pollution continue to affect this species as a whole, uh, posing a constant threat to their numbers. Humpbacks are often referred to as the heroes of the sea due to their tendencies to save other whales, such as gray whales, dolphins, porpoises, seals, penguins, and even sea turtles, and even sharks from killer whale attacks. They seem to hone in on a killer whale regardless of what they are hunting and just an attempt to stop the orcas from killing something. Last, now last but not least, our extinct animal of the week is the Titanoboa. Titanoboa is an extinct genus of very large stretcher snakes that lived in what is now Colombia in South America. Fossils of Titanoboa have been found in the Sierra John Formation and date to around 58 to 60 million years ago. At 42 feet long and 2,500 pounds, it was the largest serpent to ever exist. And they were known to dwell in vast coastal swamps that would go on to later form the Caribbean. It shared its habitat with various other giants, including massive crocodilians, uh, the truly gigantic extinct side-neck turtle, Carbonimides, and various humongous fishes such as sawfish and lungfish. The latter seem to be the primarily, primary prey of the snake, uh, as is shown to have a, fair, a largely pescivore diet, which is unusual for boas. And unlike other modern-day boas, which hunt by striking and wrapping themselves around their prey and squeezing until the victim is suffocated, Titanoboa probably attacked its prey more in a more dramatic fashion, slithering close to its blissfully unaware lunch, and then while submerged in the water, jumping forward with a sudden leap and snapping its massive jaws around its victim's throat, crushing it. As always, take care to my guys, gals, and my binary pals.